Alright guys, so Uncanny X-Men 186, uh, the famous life-death issue. So as we know from last issue, Storm has been basically depowered, and she's been taken to Dallas, Texas to basically chill with Forge, um, who is the guy who created the weapon that basically depowered Storm. Um, she's not aware of this yet, but uh, basically... Forge is, like, nursing her and watching over her. And, uh, you know, Storm's pretty much just, like, out of it. She's not really motivated at all to do anything. So, uh, back at the school, uh, Professor X is trying to track where Storm is but can't find her. Uh, because, obviously, she, he's trying to find her as a mutant and she doesn't have the, her mutant power. So, I think that's why he can't find her. So, uh, it kind of makes him and the rest of the X-Men scared that she might be dead. Um, we get some more time with Storm and Forge kind of getting to know each other. Uh, you know, Forge talks to Storm about her time, his time in Vietnam and how he lost his leg. And then we kind of pan to Val Cooper and her colleague Philip, who are trying to find Rogue. Uh, she basically escaped from last issue. And... Turns out that Phil ends up being killed by a wrath, a wraith, whatever you want to call it. Or I guess it's a wraith, dire wraith. And he, the wraith tries to go, they're basically trying to take over the world, I guess. Um, kind of reminds me a little bit of the brood, but whatever. Uh, this is a little side plot going on here. But the wraith is about to kill Val as well when Rogue shows up. And Rogue kills one of the wraiths and actually inherits all the powers of the wraith which kind of makes rogue go nuts and crazy and stuff like that and realizing that you know she finds out that the neutralizer was created by you know the department of mutant affairs and all this other stuff she goes back to tell the x-men um back at forge's house again it's weird like his house kind of has like these like panels that can like make the floors translucent which creeps storm out but anyways, the both of them have dinner, and then as dinner's going on, a storm rolls through, and Storm's like, I miss being able to control this stuff. <laughs> and meanwhile, Forge gets a call from Henry Geigrich, uh, that prick that we all hate, and he basically is like, you know, where's where's Storm? You need to hand her over. And Storm goes on the other side of the phone and realizes that um, Forge, who is a mutant himself, created this weapon that basically depowered storm so obviously that pisses storm off so much that she runs away she actually punches <laughs> forge in the face and she leaves um hoping someday that she will fly again soon so uh this is a really great issue um definitely a really awesome moment between forge and storm in this book um i think their relationship is very complicated uh I don't know where this goes from here, obviously. I know there's a second part to Life Death, which I'm not sure what issue that is, but really excited to see what that has what how that follows up on this storyline. But uh yeah, this is a double double um sized issue, but very enjoyable, very, very good art here as well. Uh yeah, on to issue one eighty seven.